Hello guys, welcome to my channel again. Today I'm going to show you how to make this pocket. I do not take credit for creating this pocket. I saw it on Keto Clothing's um, the Facebook page and decided to recreate it for my YouTube audience. So, if this is something you like to make, just stick with me to the end of this tutorial and you see how I made it. So, this is the one I recreated in this particular tutorial. So, just stick with me and you learn how to make it. If this is your first time of visiting my channel, please just click the subscribe button is below this video. Somewhere below this video, just click the subscribe button. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much. Give this video a thumbs up and share it with your friends. So let's get into it. Okay, guys. So these are the materials I'll be needing. I'll need my collar gum. This is it. And then um the width of my collar gum of the pocket is five inches by six and a half inches. And I'm just going to cut another pocket which is half of um half of this main pocket that's about 2.5 inch and then i'll curve it down as well so i just make a strap using the material the fabric will be using you can see the strap the width of the strap strap is half of an inch and then i folded it and then i use the hemming gum inside to hold them together i just ironed it now with hemming gum so that's that okay so um the next thing we do is just measure two inches by the left hand side and then one inch at the top like this and then i connected them then i'll create a curve like this and i'll cut out that part so that's that so that part we cut out is useless and then this is how it's going to be but you know by the time we go our uh, and then this way our zigzag is going to be but you know by the time we go our fabric on it is going to be turned like it's going to turn like this and our zigzag is now going to be on the right hand side yeah so when whatever you are doing do it on the left hand side so that by the time you turn it's going to be on the right hand side so when we go home we are going to trim out the excess exactly by this side but by the cuff and by the top we are going to leave a few inches at the top while on these other small parts when we go home, we are going to trim all sides equally so you can see i've already gone it so what i was explaining to you you can see by um this one all of all the sides are trimmed it equally well, this one on the side here and on this side are trimming equally but on this curve v part and the top i left few inches at the top so i'm just going to notch this part like this so i'm going to bend it this way and iron it and then i'm going to use my hemming gum to hold it down so that when i'm sewing it it's not going to be um pulling off so that's basically it i'm just going to use my hemming gum to hold it down together okay so i've done that i've used my hemming gum to hold it down and this is what we have so far you can see how easy it is guys it is very easy so we are want to create a zigzag that's going to be here so i have it a, a tutorial that explains how to make this zigzag however let me just go over it again so just put it this way curve it to the right to create an l and then bring it down and then turn it to the left like this so first thing, turn it to the right to create an L, bring it down, then turn it to the left again. Then use your iron to hold it down. Okay. So that's the first zigzag. Then you bring it down. Then you take it to the right. You see it? Then you bring it down again. So basically what you'll be doing is bring it down, take it to the right, bring it down, take it to the left, bring it down, take it to the right, bring it down, take it to the left basically that's how it goes till you are done with the level with the length of the zigzag so that's that again you are going to use your iron to press it so at every point you make every step of a zigzag you make you use your iron so i'll just go ahead and do it and this is what we have it's easy guys it's easy like i always say it's easy and it's fun making st stuff like this so that's basically it. so our zigzag is going to be on this part like this and then our main pocket is going to be over it and then it is sewn okay so we'll just go to the machine and basically every other thing we'll be doing is we will be on the machine so that's that so you just arrange it the way you want it to be and you go to the machine and you see how to sew the zigzag to the pocket okay so let's go to the machine right now all right so we have the machine we're on the machine and just arrange it the way you want it to be then you remove it and you start sewing so what you are sewing is in between it let me move close you can see so in between you can see there's a space little space you can sew in between 
So that's that. So that's the speed you use to sew it to the cloth. You saw it in such a way that it's not going to show on the zigzag, it's going to be hidden inside that line I just showed you. I just zoomed in to show you. So you can see it. So you just go ahead and sew it. Again, guys, if you are not subscribed, just hit the subscribe button so that whenever I drop a video, you'll be notified and you get to be the first to see it. Okay. So you can see. Now it doesn't it cannot follow because I've sewn it. Okay, so that's that. So the next thing is, I made this strap off the camera. I didn't show you how to make it. However, it's simple. Just fold, cut the material on bias, as if you have no pipe, a kaftan neck, and then fold it and put hemming gum in, inside. In such a way that you can see it's stretchy. So um, it's going to be put under this like this, just to create a slight effect. To show you a slight effect of the red. Uh, of the maroon this is maroon so that's that so you just are sewing it you'll be very very careful when you get to this um curvy part because that's where the main um, confusing part is you just take it carefully carefully so um you need at this point you need to raise it and just just trim not trim just notch or clip this part so that to make it easier for you to turn it to create that curvy part you can see it to create that curvy part so so that's that just turn it to create a curvy part and every other part is easy the only hard thing is this curvy part you can see it once you pass that, pass that curvy part every other place is easy okay guys please again if you don't subscribe just hit the subscribe button it's free you don't have you won't pay for it it's free just hit the subscribe button and you'll be notified and turn on your notification bell so you'll be notified whenever i drop a video okay so this is what we have you can see how beautiful it is so we can just go ahead to trim off this excess so it reduces the width of the pocket so the next thing we'll do is we're just going to cut the main material in a slanted form. So this is what I mean by bias. You cut the material slanted form. It's called bias. So that's that. So what I'll do next is I'm just going to turn the, po the pocket upside down like this over my bias fabric. And I'm going to sew about less than, if a little bit less than half inch. You can see, just maintain the same size when you're sewing a little less than half inch. So you see it so you can trim and then you turn it to the back of the pocket so guys if you are not on my whatsapp channel i'm going to leave the link of the whatsapp channel in the description of this video so the description of this video basically if you want to go to the description of any video in my channel just click the title of the video and you get there so when I when I'm sewing, you see you just sew beside this um, bias with it in such a way that the thread will not be on it and it'll be somewhat hidden. So this is it. Basically, this is it. So the next thing, you just, if you like, you can go to the table. Well, you should go to the table actually to iron it and then use hemming gum to gum this top part use hemming gum to hold it but before then let me just trim off the excess trim off the excess and that's it so you'll see the title of this video is take you to this description you see the link to my um you see the link to my telegram whatsapp channel i mean and then you can join okay so this is the finished product guys you can see how beautiful it is thank you so much guys for watching